since getting my hands on the full-size Walther PPQ, the 5-inch model here, I've been on the lookout for a drop leg holster. And I've run into a little bit of difficulty getting that done. The wait, however, may be over. Alien Gear has sent me their Cloak Mod drop leg holster for the Walther PPQ 4-inch, and I think we can modify this and make it work. So that's what we're going to do today. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel crew and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to attempt to modify this Alien Gear Cloak Mod drop leg holster where my full size 5 inch model Walther PPQ will fit. Now this particular holster is designed for the 4 inch but uh, I think with a little bit of modification to it we can make everything work out just fine. Before we get into that though just a quick reminder no matter where you're watching be sure and Put the smack down on that subscribe button and if you're over on the YouTube side go ahead and click that notification bell as well so let's get started here we're not going to need the pistol right now so we're going to get it off to the side and out of the way and the first thing we're going to do using the uh, supplied wrench from Alien Gear is we're going to remove this top shell this is going to be the piece we're going to have to modify and uh, they do supply the little wrench. Alien Gear is great about supplying all sorts of extra screws and bushings and other things to, to really get the most out of their holsters. Alright, now that we've got the screws out, we can just lift this top piece off. And uh, everything underneath, we're going to set it to the side. We don't need it right now. So now we're going to bring back in the uh, Walther. This is the full size, the 5 inch model, PPQ. Let's do a uh, quick safety check. We don't need the magazine, so we're going to get it out of the way anyway. Uh, check the chamber. Everything, of course, is clear. We're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this shell. If we line this shell up onto the pistol, we can see that it, it sort of fits. The problem is that this was made for the 4 inch the uh, five inch being longer we've got an issue right in this area okay but we can see how it kind of sort of wants to try to fit <laughs> if we uh, kind of flip this over a little bit we can see that it's the shell is setting up against the pistol fine up until a certain point and then because of this area it's wanting to lift it up so what we're gonna have to do so we're going to have to take a little bit of this holster off and uh, thankfully the way that this is molded the way alien gear has done this we've already got sort of a guide as to what we've got to do here so uh, if we start taking off a little bit uh, we should be able to get this to set on the pistol flush at that point we can put the holster back together do a few minor adjustments and everything should work out fine so now let's get the pistol set to the side we don't need it and prepare our workspace we don't want to do any type of uh, cutting or filing on our uh, little carpeted area here all right we are back and you can see i've got a different work area here actually this is an old t-shirt and uh, you've seen me use these several times if you've got old t-shirts that's dirty that's stained whatever uh, cut those suckers up use them for for rags and work surfaces and stuff like that So this is going to cover up our nice carpeted area, so we don't have to worry about trying to vacuum up All types of little dust and dirt and plastic particles now again crew. We're talking safety first here, so Safety glasses don't ask me how I know this but when we're <laughs> sanding and grinding and stuff like that uh, yeah it's a pretty good idea to have an added layer of protection over those eyeballs we only have two right now there should only be a couple of tools you really need for this uh, there's going to be several ways that we can of course uh, take some of the material off here you could do that with a file uh, possibly some type of sandpaper both of those methods I'm going to take a little bit of time uh, personally, I like to use a Dremel tool and this little cutting grinding blade. This 
works really well for woods and plastics and just a quick uh, warning that if you are going to use some type of little power tool like this, you're going to want to uh, maybe practice first and even then go slow. Uh, if you take off too much material when you're doing things like this, it can be bad. Uh, take off a little. You can always take off a little more. Don't be overzealous with it. And then also, uh, to finish everything out, probably going to need a file, something like this right here. Rat tail file. A round file would also work as well. Now we have our bit and our Dremel tool ready to go. Uh, and here is the part of the video where I warn you <laughs> when I turn on the Dremel. It may be loud. So, um, yeah, if you see me flip the switch on this thing, you might want to mute the video until we uh, get done with this particular part. Here we go. <laughs> And notice right away the mess we made that is why we want to lay definitely lay something down on our little area so we're taking quite a bit off as you can see now we're gonna break our pistol back in and magazines out yes we have cleared it and everything lay that down and see what we've got and as you can see we've still not quite taken off enough material uh, what I'm probably gonna have to do is kind of get down into even this area down here and come around a little bit shouldn't be a problem let's uh, continue continue to grind here we go turning on the uh, Dremel Looking uh, too terribly bad there. Bring the pistol back in. Try it again. Hmm. And honestly, that's not looking half bad. I think we've got a spot right in here. It looks like we're going to have to open just a hair, just as it turns the corner on the slide here. So. Let's, uh, let's open this up right in this area just a hair more, and I think we'll be good. All right, turning the uh, Dremel on one more time. Here we go. Now you'll notice too, as I'm doing this, you'll see that I'm kind of hitting it. I'm kind of going with the rotation of this bit. And uh, what that does is that helps to clean everything up. I don't know that I'm going to even have to use the file once I get done here. So let's pull the uh, pistol out again and see what we look like. I think, honestly, that will do it. So, let's put the shell back on the holster, and we'll put the pistol in there and see what happens. Now, before I put the uh, this top shell back on, just need to explain something. Uh, I have swapped out the what appears to be the medium-sized bushings that this was shipped with over to these uh, longer ones. The holster seemed... Even though the full-size PPQ did not fit this, and trying to get it to go in, it seemed very, very tight. So I'm going to swap it out for these uh, taller bushings, kind of open up 
the pocket inside this holster a little more and, and see what happens. The wonderful thing, like I said, is Alien Gear sends you all these goodies to change stuff around and try different things. Now, if you go with the longer bushings, you're going to have to use the longer screws. Those are supplied as well, though. So nothing to worry about there. And we're going to just get all those puppies into place. We're not really going to be concerned with... Uh, over tightening anything at this point just uh, tighten everything up until you sort of feel a little bit of resistance and then at that point just kind of stop because we're going to have to test uh, final fit on this thing anyway there we go we have our screws in place let's uh, grab our pistol again put that dude in there start to put the dude in there and See what happens. Looky there. Oh yeah. And uh, with those taller bushings, everything actually fits pretty doggone well. Doesn't look like we're rubbing on the uh, slide at all. So that's good for what I'm going to do uh, out on the range. So long as it's not flopping around and and. Uh, Bible to fall out. We should be good to go. So there you go, crew. There's how you modify the Alien Gear Cloak Mod Drop Leg Holster for the Walther PPQ 4 inch. Or you can use your Walther full size 5 inch PPQ. Before we leave, just a couple of quick things. First of all, thanks to Alien Gear for sending me this holster so I could demonstrate the modification. And now that we have it modified, and our full size PPQ fits it. Look for some future videos on how well this particular holster holds up. Also, what do you think about a drop leg holster? Do you think that it serves a purpose? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Till next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.